Hey everybody, it's me, Anut, and I am a special guest on the stream today. We're going to talk about New York Comic Con and the Stogies, and we're going to discuss the convention. Yeah, so if you want to watch, you can talk about Terminate, you can talk about whatever you want, I don't care, okay? Thank you, here's Vinny. Wow, special guest Arnold, we became best friends. Yeah, we started with this. Someone just said terminate this bit. Oh, man. Well, I did meet Michael Bean today, who was uh, Kyle Reese in the original Terminator, so me and Arnold are basically best friends now. And, um... That was my day, so welcome to the stream. We're gonna talk about uh, Comic-Con, I'm gonna show you a little video I put together, some pictures, some stories, some smells, and it'll be fun. This picture is one I took. It's the best picture I took yet of the past two days. And incidentally, it has nothing to do with Comic-Con. Well, it's it's a couple... I mean, it's to the left. You know, Comic-Con's to the right. The Javits Center is to the right of this photo. And uh, this was to the left. So I liked it. I figured, oh, I'll just slap a logo on it. Why not? It's fun. But yeah, thank you for joining. Um, yesterday I didn't stream, but I did a music q and I was very tired, but I did my best, even if I was mincing words here and there. Today I'm a little less tired. I managed to sleep a little bit when I got home. So, you know, I should be good for the stream. Why don't we talk about Comic-Con? It was good. All right, now let me show you the video. I had a good time. Everybody I met, uh, there was a couple people from Vine Sauce that were there, or that watched Vine Sauce, and, and uh, everyone was great. And um, I just had a good time. I bought a couple things, uh, but mainly just wandered around and took footage. And well, here's what I got. So I'll just show you that. So okay, so this is the '90s Cup Infinity Gauntlet, dude, with Flintstone. Jedi, Iron Man, Goku, I don't, I don't know what's going on. He's got a Mario mustache, Thanos. It's just, oh, God. But this is Comic-Con in a nutshell. And then there's Thanos and Predator to the right. Tall Thanos. So, I mean... Look at that production value that I give you. I put this video together in 40 minutes. Also, you're going to hear a lot of weird ambient noises. I didn't really cut around that. But yeah. It, oh. <laughs> it was packed. Look at that wizard. Wizard. So, yeah, it was packed. That's um the kind of thing that you get. And you have to wear lots of um, hand sanitizer and stuff like that. But here's what you need to do. It's not a real zombie. You just have to look at it and move on. Uh, hang on a minute, let me stop the YouTube stream. Not a real zombie, not real blood, okay? Alright. Check this out. Resident Evil 5 and 6 were playable. And people were fucking playing them. Why? Later on, I went back and nobody was playing them. I was like, I was pleased. Uh, but anyway, here's Voldemort made out of jelly beans. There's a lot of weird things like this that I managed to film. Um, here's some posters. Some looked really great. Wait, what's this one? Oh, <laughs> oh okay, I know what that was. So there's a big old Pikachu. That Pikachu uh, comes back later. I saw the Picard trailer, by the way. There's a New York Comic Con uh, trailer today. Better trailer. So that's um, some outfits, some props from the show. Now, this, if you... If you showed me this and you were like, this is a prop from a TV show, which show is it? I would say this outfit is a prop from, oh, I don't know, a superhero TV show, a um, underworld, vampires, uh, Terminator. Nope. Jean-Luc Picard. Admiral Jean-Luc Picard. So that's the one thing, like the trailer was good. 
and you get a little Riker action in there, and I thought it was a really good uh, trailer, even if it is dumb action, as usual. Uh, but still, you know, it's just some of the, the, the fucking direction of this thing, the, the design of it all is very, like, dark. A ragtag group of rebels fighting the Borg, or whatever is happening. I have no idea. But it just doesn't feel very next-gen. But that's okay. Whatever. We'll see. It might be good. So I, I did the work for them. Hey, where are you going? And I added some green screen. What's MC? Nice fucking model! Um, so I thought this was Warcraft. Here's a look at the show floor. Uh, a minute, I want to show you. Sorry, we're going to go back to this. Okay, I thought this was a Warcraft thing. I thought it was a dwarf with graffiti on it. It turns out it's from a thing called Realm of Champions. Never heard of it. No idea what that is, but there it is. Loot Crate, I thought, went bankrupt, but they were still there, and they were giving away very expensive loot crates. Massive arcade cabinet. Sorry for the horrendous cut there. Oh, this was cool. This artist, I thought, was, was great. I'll even show you a companion picture now. Sorry, I don't have good controls for um, rewinding. This person just made really good, like, stained glass weird pop art. And um, you can see Kermit on the right. Same as it ever was! Uh, Klaus Numi on the top left. Some Bowie, some DeVito. I just, I really liked this. I didn't buy any of it, but I thought it was really cool. Now, I thought it was interesting that Zack was hanging out with Sephiroth and not Cloud. Also, this is... I, I love this costume. That was such a good costume. Uh, so the Expanse was there. This is the, the outside of the Rocinante. Like, it was supposed to be the inside of the ship. And I went in there. Um, I was supposed to get a mug, but they ran out. Fuckers. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, there was just stuff from the Expanse in there. Like, uh, if you liked the show... You would probably like that, even if there wasn't a ton to it. You know, like, here's the inside of it. You have that kind of stuff. You have this kind of stuff. You have um, this I thought was cool. You could get coffee. The coffee machine wasn't working. But basically, like the show The Expanse, they have, like, sets from there. And um, I thought it was pretty cool. So... It's worth checking out. Now, as you know, I wanted to meet Sean Astin, who is um, a Hobbit. And I was going to say, hey, man, I really like your work in The Hobbit. No, wait, in The Lord of the Rings as the uh, other Hobbit, Sam. You know, I really like what you did in The Goonies and Stranger Things, Rudy. It would have been nice to meet Sean Astin. I think he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, unfortunately, here was the line for both Sean Astin and Billy Boyd. Sam and Pippin, respectively. That, my friends, my humble friends, was the line. Now, I don't need to meet celebrities that bad. Uh, but I want you to know this is not, this is not okay for me. I would not have waited on this line. When I met the cast of Star Trek The Next Generation, their lines were like five minutes. That's the line to meet Vinny. That's nothing compared to the Too Many Games line. Wait, really? This seems longer. How many Joker cosplays were there? A million Jokers. A million Harley Quinns. Every form of Joker. Several Joker Batman. Zombie Joker Batman. Lots of Harley Quinns, as I said. But you're also going to get the new Joker. Definitely got lots of those. Um... But the costume I think I saw the most was Scoops Ahoy from Stranger Things Season 3. And couples were doing that, and just other people were just, just dressed as sailors. Believe it or not. That was like number one cosplay. Uh, but yeah, there were some other good ones. Like, I mean, I have some... I'll show you one. Here's a couple pictures before I continue the video. Here's a picture of the Swedish chef taking a picture... Of Luke, Han, Leia, and Assassin's Creedman, I guess. So that was bizarre. That was fucking weird. 
Um, I found this one, I don't know why this is flipped like this, but I found like a booth that was selling um, like candles. It's supposed to be like saints and uh, prison mic was like, you could buy a stanky prison mic candle amongst many others, but I thought that was uh, pretty interesting. This is unrelated, but before I even got to Comic-Con yesterday, I found a bootleg Kermit on the back of a truck. I don't know what kind of truck this was, but Pura Vida, says Kermit, probably not licensed. So, let's continue the video. I'll show you some more pictures. But yeah, this is a long-ass line. So, comedy starts here. And then, oh wait, no, it ends here. It dies here. I rehearsed that. So yeah, when I think Comic-Con, I think Geico. Look at all this fun everyone's having. Ha. Ha ha. Look, oh shit, there's Pennywise. Selling penis enlargement pills while uh, dancing with Scoops Ahoy and the Geico Gecko. Is everybody happy? Join the bowel movement. I can't think of anything better for the preceding footage, then join the bowel movement. That, that, um, the person there was, uh, giving away join the bowel movement, man. That, that just, it's so perfect for so much of Comic-Con. Now, to let you know, I did enjoy Comic-Con a lot this year, and I'll tell you why. But here's some nug life. They had weed-related products. Not selling weed, I don't think, unless you said the password, which probably didn't exist, but... Here's, um, Rick James, well, yeah, or is Prince, no, it's Prince from Chappelle Show playing basketball, but he's got a massive ass, so he has, like, a prosthetic ass for the costume. Alright, now here's more footage of the Predator and Thanos, but this Thanos has no head. He took his head off. I, I really... That was my favorite, like, quick grabs. Here, here's the thing. I used my phone to get uh, this footage. I used to bring my camera, and it was a little bit of a pain in the ass because I had to construct it or carry it around my neck, and the foot, the quality was probably just as good as this. But I'm using my, my phone, and I'm able to get... Like, if I see something, I can get my phone up and running in three seconds, and I can just take take the footage, take the video... My camera, I had to have it ready at all times, and it was a pain in the ass. Um, and people would bump into it, so it wasn't fun. But I was able to get footage that I wouldn't normally have been able to get in previous years because I just used my damn phone. But I got this, yeah, I got this footage of the wheezings. I really was proud of that because then they were gone. It's like, yeah, I got the footage. So this is how much fun you can have at Comic-Con. You know, if you're a fucking idiot. I mean, dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur, I meant. No. Yeah. Some more Beetlejuice stuff. Every time I saw something Beetlejuice, I just took a picture of it. Because I'm a fucking weirdo. Now, imagine walking around Comic-Con with a dress like this on. Amazing costume, by the way, and I think that's someone from Game of Thrones. Can't tell who. But imagine having to go around Comic-Con with that dress and how filthy the bottom of it must get. Um, someone said, I don't think she's walking anywhere. Probably not, but I think she'd have to, like, get there and then leave. Right? Unless she puts it on there. I don't know how it happened. I think she has a handler. The dude on the right appears to be her handler, so maybe he lifts the dress up. Or she's just mopping the floors of Comic-Con for free and getting all kinds of nice diseases. Uh, this dude I've seen in previous years. He, he goes as an arcade cabinet. I just realized it says Thought Topic on the side. <laughs> and each side has a game that you can actually play. I think one side is Street Fighter. I didn't get a look at the other side. Um, but yeah, this dude walks around. You can play the arcade cabinets. So that was another fortuitous moment that I got. Because of the quickness, the speed of the phone. So, uh, Capcom was there. As you know, people were playing Resident Evil. 
5 and 6 and also Monster Hunter Iceborne. And then uh, also this thing was there. I got some footage of Mr. Thick. There he is. And uh, I don't know what, you know, I looked around. The props were cool there. I don't know if the game's going to be any good. This was cool. I really like this. Best Skull Kid yet. So you'll notice a Beetlejuice down there, right? But that's not who I'm zooming in on. Homer. Homer. So we're... Um, so, uh, so, so this is Mortal Kombat. This is Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Friendship. And they have the arcade cabinet and a little dude in there. I, I thought that was really cool. Look at that dude. Yeah, it's cool, right? Oh man, I love Mortal Kombat. That was such a good cosplay. They had to carry that whole thing around. Vinny, go back. What do you mean? Go... What? Go back more? What, like... To Homer? Where, like here? Homer. That's cool, right? All right, here, let's let's go back. Oh, wait, what's that? There it is. Yeah, this is where you guys wanted me to go, right? To Mortal Kombat? Cool. Uh, I found some more dinosaurs. There was, like, a fucking weird dinosaur inflatable costume convention. I don't know why that woman was on a leash. I, I try not to think about that for too long. Uh, I got a pterodactyl. Triceratops. This is, a uh, just a look... There's like a weird underpass in the Javits Center, and they just parked food trucks. High quality food trucks. And everybody would just be posing for Instagram and, you know, just getting food. And it was very interesting. Um, I thought that the, it smelled good down there, surprisingly. But it was so fucking crowded. And outside, everybody is just posing. Some people just like planted themselves outside for hours. And also, the weather was nice the past two days. Cold, yes, but nice if you're in a costume that's very hot. I thought these, um... These Mega Men were great. Vile, X, and Sigma. Excellent work that they did there. That was not a pun. Here's, uh, Thanos, who has kidnapped a small child. Look at the- look at the cold, heartless eyes on this bastard. He needs to be stopped. And then they had, um... Breaking Bad, and that's basically what the Javits Center looks like. Nice fucking model! So, uh, so that was pretty much, that's the whole video. I, I got all that as video. And, uh, I got a couple other pictures if you're interested. Um, here's the only picture I took of me. With, uh, my favorite, of uh, uh, dude, uh, I don't know who that is. Do I look confused? I think I was confused. It's Hero, it's Chrono, it's Goku, it's Kat Karat. Hmm. Carrot cake? Okay. Uh, here's another thing I saw. I seen to this. They were selling this. Mm hmm. And you know, I was hearing people talk about that. Like, people would be, like, walking around, like, yo, I, that thing says hentai. And then I'd be, like, far away from it, and people would be like, yo, there's a thing that says hentai over there. Yo, it's awesome. It's like Pornhub. Um, so that was a popular item. I found... I found this. Bulma's motorcycle. Dragon Ball Z had a massive presence. Um, to the point where I actually bought two Dragon Ball Z things. I'm going to tell you what I bought. So there's a, a, a type of incense that I like called Morningstar. And they did a Dragon Ball Z incense. So I got uh, Goku uh, smelling incense and Vegeta. I'm not kidding, by the way. So I have the Goku smell and the Vegeta smell. Oh. What does it smell like? <laughs> Don't worry, bye. I saw Tommy Wiseau. Uh, well, a dude dressed as Tommy, and I said, "Throw football, Danny." And he go, "Ha!" And none of us smiled. Neither of us smiled. So that was that. Um, here's another. Look at that dude. I don't know who that is. Hang on a minute. I think I might know. He might be on my incense. No, he's not. Is that Vegeta? Why is he wearing a different thing? Is that Magus? 
Man, look at that widow's peak. Jesus fucking Christ. Toriyama loves his widow's peaks. But yeah, like I said, Dragon Ball had a massive presence. You can go you could go in there. The expanse, there was a couple things. Um like here's some props from the show. Like the Mars soldier prop. That was that's Bobby's outfit. I thought that was cool. I like seeing props from shows I like. Um, and The Expanse is definitely one of my favorites. Here is just another picture of the city that I thought was nice. It was just a beautiful night. The sun was going down as I was leaving yesterday, and the Empire State Building is in the background. I love that church. I don't know what church that is, but I love how... It's still a massive church, by the way. But look at how like it's being dwarfed by the buildings around it, specifically that one silver boy. It's like holy shit. Someone said why are all why are all these towers so crooked? You see that's part of the architectural ch architectural charm is to make the towers crooked so that one day they will lean like the leaning power of Pisa. And so that's why they do that on purpose. Um Tilted towers. Yeah, you can get down there. What's happening? What's popping, boys, they say. Here's um Here's a nice picture of the city that's marred by waste. And I don't mean the sanitation building on the right, and that's what that is. I mean by the Gemini Man advertisement. Ugh. Here's a picture of me walking in today. Again, had some great weather. A little cold, but definitely nice. They're doing um, construction, so half the building, like the old artist alley, is not there anymore because they destroyed it, and they're adding a new wing to the Javits Center, and it's going to be, it's been under construction for probably like a year and a half now, something like that, maybe longer, and it's going to be multiple floors, so this Comic-Con was a little smaller overall, I'd say. It, it had like less... Uh, space, so they had to make the most of all the space they had, which is a lot, but for a convention that's attended by tens of thousands of people, let's just say this next wing that they open is going to be very welcome. Uh, here's another one. Just thought that this looked cool with all the buildings and everything. Hudson Yards is beautiful. I really like this area. And uh, then I found the penguin smoking a cigarette. Which, why not? Why wouldn't he be smoking a cigarette? Let's see. I'm sorry to do this to you, chat, but I found a pickle rick. At least this one had, like, extra detail. Like, the muscles, the exposed muscles. Um, and by the way, he was saying wubba lubba dub dub, and he was... <laughs> he was yelling the catchphrases and he was saying that he was pickle rick loudly i should have put the fucking video on but i just took pictures and walked away bit of a, a not a great move here is um i thought this was great snake pliskin not solid snake but the snake that inspired him just a really mental figure i wonder how much that's going to cost hundreds Massive. Then they had, um... Is that the Krusty Krab? I think so, right? Yeah. They had this. Weirdly enough, there was a World War I movie being heavily promoted outside of Comic-Con. Uh, 1917. You know, you can see. Uh, the movie looks great, by the way. The trailer... For the movie is is really cool but it's just team rocket was there that's correct they were there and uh yeah 1917 it, it they had a tent where you could watch a trailer um just a bizarre choice for comic-con but the movie does look very good they had props from the preacher show including what does that say cassidy t-shirt and foreskin cream jar Foreskin cream jar. 
So I entered to win. There's an auction. They're auctioning the props, and I entered to win um, the foreskin cream jar. I don't know if I'm going to win. I probably won't, but I would very much like that. Um, here's just someone. Uh, there's a booth that does art where they carve wood, and uh, it's Clud and Midgar. And finally, Beetle Family. Nice fucking baby! Not a real baby, by the way. So there you go. That's that was um every that was everything. That's all the pictures I have and I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. I will tell you a couple quick things. One convention Okay, so The Walking Dead is on the badge, right? And much like The Walking Dead, Comic-Con kind of just shambles on. It's fun. This was my 7th one, I think. I took one year off. And and I enjoyed it this year because it was very just chill. I was just there, just looking around. Um, met people from uh, that watch Vine Sauce. I, I met some other people that I had uh, that were from Staten Island, and I had a really nice time. And then I go get food, and I'm happy, and I come home. Good enough. I will say though, the feeling of Comic Con is at its best the first couple years. I don't know if it's changed. I don't know if there's just too many people there. I don't know if I've changed. I think it was me that changed but it's become more kind of like a thing where you just enjoy it for a couple hours i go four hours for each day and it just kind of is there and it's fun there's a lot of yeah i mean the the entertainment stuff is is expanding to stuff that's not comic books or even remotely nerdy like a world war one movie like i said at one point, it said uh, there was a decal. It said Jarvis is my co-pilot, like on one of the stands. And like a dude behind me was like, "Yo, bro, you gotta look at that. Yo, low, bro, 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 bro." And he was like, "Jarvis is my co-pilot," and they got a kick out of that. I was like, "Is that funny?" I don't know what that was. Like it wasn't. <laughs> so I mean, I didn't know that that was funny, and and so I just kind of figured everybody just goes to Comic Con. You watched a couple Marvel movies, you go to Comic-Con. And I don't mind. I don't really think it's worth gatekeeping a comic book convention. Because who gives a shit? But it is really fucking crowded. And part of me wishes it was less crowded because my legs hurt. I can walk for three hours, no problem. But if I'm waddling for three hours, my, my legs do not feel good afterwards. So, again, it could use a little more space. But still, otherwise, like, you know, the convention itself was good. People were pretty chill. It did not smell this year. So I was going to say the smells of Comic-Con, mostly just popcorn and food. People wear deodorant. Pretty happy about that. Vinny, why would you be waddling? Because you're walking through tight, like, aisles with a bunch of people in front of you walking very slowly. So you kind of have to just, like, step, step. Very slowly, very slowly. And it's, yeah, it's like a very specific type of walk. I'll tell you a couple things before I move on to the video games, and I appreciate your patience. If you're not into this, you don't want to hear about Comic-Con at all. Thank you for still watching. But I'll tell you what I got. Um, I got a couple things. One, I met Michael Bean, who is a, a Kyle Reese, an alien. He was just in the aisles, like, with... um at a booth signing next to Johnny who's who's Nero Bosch Bach Young Bosch y Young Bosch <laughs> uh and I told him good Nero I basically just said that I, uh, Johnny Young Bosch sorry <laughs> got his name totally wrong um I just I said hey man good Nero and uh but I met Michael because I wanted to meet him and he signed a picture. I had the choice of Terminator, Alien 2, sorry, Aliens, or uh, Tombstone. And I got the picture of Tombstone, and I shook his hand. I said, hey, man, you're like, you're amazing. You know, thank you for all you've done. And uh, I love your work in, obviously, Aliens. You should have been in the other Alien movies. He said, which, which other Alien movies? I don't want to be in that. I said, exactly. And, uh, and then I said he did really good in the Alien 3 audio drama which was like a different script that I listened to. And I said Tombstone was amazing, and I just really, um, you know, said I'm happy to meet you. 
And he said, thanks, man. And, and then that was it. It was a nice interaction. It was a nice uh, time because, again, I wasn't expecting to meet Michael Bean, but this is like a really... Like, this dude was in so many of my favorite movies, and he's also just like a, a staple of 80s movies in general. And so I was really happy I got to meet him, even if I didn't meet Sean Astin. So that was cool. Uh, I got, like I said, Dragon Ball incense because I'm a weirdo. Um, the dude at that preacher booth just gave me a free preacher shirt for some reason, so I have that. That was cool. I got um, a couple magnets, Chrono Trigger magnet. Blade Runner magnet. Yep, I know. I got anything else of worth. They usually give out some free shit, like coasters and, like, comics. I got some of that stuff. I got a couple free buttons. I spun the Wheel of Disappointment and got nothing, so I was disappointed. And, uh, I thought I got, like, another thing. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's about it. I spent maybe like 45 bucks, which is not a small amount, uh, you know, but it not too bad. I was pretty happy with all that. Um, for all the shit that's there, where you can take two hours to look around and, and get through all the vendors. And there was some cool shit there. I didn't really feel like I needed to get stuff. I was just happy getting a couple things. Um, the magnets being probably my favorite things I got, weirdly enough. Oh, oh, one thing I did get. Sorry, I got one thing that I really, really like. It was the, um, Dark Crystal book. Sorry. It's called Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, The Ultimate Visual History. And it's just all about the creation of the Dark Crystal. Concept art. Everything. <clears throat> Not the TV show, the original movie. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that was that was 20 bucks, but worth it. And I think that's about it. Oh, last thing I can tell you is... So, at the end of the convention, everybody leaves, and there's a bunch of, like, street food vendors, like street meat vendors, with their scummy chicken. And they're doing a new thing now, which is they're banging on the metal of their street cart with their utensils to get your attention and shouting at you. There'll be like seven of them lined up and they just bang and they're like, oh, Vinny, that's not new. Maybe I didn't remember that, but that's what they did. So they did that and it was annoying as fuck. All right. So anyway, who banged in public? Beetlejuice. <laughs> Definitely Beetlejuice. I don't know who else, but for a start, Beetlejuice, and probably that poor person who was on the leash. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. Comic-Con was fun. If I met you this weekend, it was really, it was a pleasure. And, uh, you know, th I met a lot of people that were just really super nice to me, and, and I appreciate that. I couldn't do a meetup for obvious reasons. Just too, it's too overwhelming for me, um, unless it's like a controlled environment now, I'm sorry to say. Uh, it just becomes a goddamn mess at a convention like that. But, um, you know. Oh, oh, I can tell you, one dude who met me was from Staten Island, and he said, he was like, Vinny, my friend almost ran you over with his car. And I'm like, what? And he said, yeah. And then he named a couple streets, like a street. I was like, maybe I was over there. I don't know, but I don't remember. Like, I don't recall having been almost hit by a car this year. He said, oh, well, my friend said it was you. You sure it wasn't some other pasty white dude with a beard? He was like, maybe. Well, who knows? Who knows? So that's Comic-Con, everybody. Best time of the year. Maybe I'll get sick. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's play some Zelda. Alright, um, I have to get set up just a little bit, so please bear with me. Um, spooky things will happen tomorrow on Sunday stream.